this man's been kind enough to gift me a critically endangered Cuban crocodile and a huge Nile crocodile. Okay. Sorry, boy. This holy smokes, he's about to be one happy boy and he's on the run. Oh, don't. All right. Well, crocs bite. Let's we'll get you inside the house. It's super fish. No, it's not yeah. super fish. Justin Brown from Mayaka, Florida. Can I get a ski? You. What's going on? What are we up to? Ooh, we're getting prepared for the big move. Justin Brown came in clutch. Always oh, helping out. He brought these crock boxes. We're gonna drill together, get them ready, so we can do. Uh, oh well, I guess I just gave it away. You guys already know from the thumbnail. We're getting crocodiles, baby. We're getting a big tubing, and we're getting a big. Now, crocodile, you know why legendary they crocodile. legendary crocodiles I used to work with when I was a little kid. You know why they call now crocodile the now crocodile because they will annihilate you. No, I'm just playing, they're from the now river in Africa. Anyways, you'll learn more later in this video. We gotta get these boxes together, we gotta finish some of our beers, and we're gonna have a good time. And tomorrow, we're catching crocs, brother. Going down, we're catching crocs. Give my fist a bum. Going down, that's what I'm talking about. Got As you can see, the croc box is ready to go. So, because the Cuban crocodile is so dangerous, and obviously we want to get that big Nile safely, we don't want that Cuban crocodile trying to bite us at the back. So what we're going to do is a pull-through technique by the old Steve Irwin. Top jar rope, put the rope through the box, pull through to the box, close the box, no tape required. So if she regurgitates food or anything, she's not taped up, she won't aspirate or anything like that. We are ready to go. We can drink our beers and we can have a cheers because tomorrow, Wild World expands. All right, boys, we're gonna get in there. We're gonna get to this croc now. Cuban crocs are the most dangerous crocs in the world. Am I right, boys? Oh, yeah. Am I right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in there. I'm gonna get her attention. Use my body as bait. Then lasso, top jaw, pull through, pull through. You're gonna go through the box stone. Pull the rope through. Crocs can get pulled through. Lock secure, and then we have to catch the big now. But we're not gonna catch it the same way. We're gonna catch it basically like we're catching it like Steve Irwin. We're gonna jump on his back and go ski you. Get you boys ready? I'm ready. Go! You. you boys ready? Can I get a ski you stone? Go! What is going on, my beautiful people? I'm here down in South Florida at the Everglades Outpost with Mr. Bob Freer, legendary man of the Everglades. This man's been kind enough to gift me a critically endangered Cuban crocodile and a huge Nile crocodile. Not just any Nile croc, this is the Nile crocodile, one of the first crocs I got to work with when I was a little kid at Native Village. With Stone, Stone, can I get to you? Come on, Stone! We got all the boys, we got everyone here. We got Joe Wazalewski, we got Chris Gillette. Oh, we got the whole family. We got Martha, we got Alex, we got Stone, Justin Brown, and you know the man right there with the gauges. His name is Tyler Nolan. Ready, Nubs ready. So I got all the boys ready. We're gonna do a, a top jaw pull through technique, the old Steve Rowan style, because Cuban crocodiles, as you guys know from the past, they throw you off their back. So try and be nice and safe about it. Let's see if we can get a top jaw rope. Ready? If anything goes wrong, just take pictures. Nope. Come on, Miss Duty. Oh. Oh. Okay. Miss Duty. There we go. Just a little, little simple uh -oh. Uh oh Come on. Nice and easy. Come on. Just a little top jaw rope. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Get out of here. 
All right, well, so there's a rope. We're gonna be down there and grab that. That's a nice start. No, I'm fine here. You wanna get him? Sorry, boy. All right. Who's got the tape? Grab the rope, guys. Every bit of it. Holy smokes. Oh, this is great. I've been looking forward to this day forever. I can't even believe I'm getting this croc. It's like full circle. I got one of the first King Cobras I ever worked with, and now I'm getting one of the first ever crocs I gotta work with. Thank you so much, Bob, for you. Thanks. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Woo! That's a big boy. My plan was just to pull out Miss Toothy, but things don't go to according, according to plan with crocodiles. Oh. What a beast! Look at that big, beautiful croc. Woo! What a beast! Woo! Stone, come on, baby, let's go! Look at these feet, guys. Look at this big boy. He is a beast of a Nile crocodile. And now he's coming to Chandler's Wild World. Now, you still gotta be careful because this crocodile is gonna build up with energy and you could explode. Look at that tail, though. Got its COVID weight. Much better. God, how cool is this, guys? Comment below. Have you ever seen a croc this beautiful? Woo, wait until you see the Cuban croc. Just like the sunshine, it's so yellow. Woo, look at this behemoth of a crocodile. Look how big the base of that tail is. Holy smokes. He's about to be one happy boy, and he's on the run. Oh, don't, don't. You just relax. Look, I'll give you a little neck massage. We're, gonna, we're about to be in the van with some AC, big boy. You okay? Of course. <laughs> It's a good thing we got so many strong Floridians here to help. Let's go, baby. Push. 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 Okay. So the Cuban crocodiles are definitely the most dangerous of all crocs. I honestly rather would be catching a salty because they're so massive and explosive, but easier to deal with. Cuban crocodiles gout like dogs and they leap up. Chris is like six foot something. He's had this Cuban croc nearly bite him in the head probably over a dozen times. It's all his camel's crotch. It's dangerous. Oh, no. Right here. Uh, She's coming right over here. She got, it. She got to be in the back. Right under the furniture, I love those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! This is honestly one of the sketchiest situations I've ever been in. in murky water with a freaking seven, eight foot Cuban croc. Good thing is she's not going anywhere. I think we just here. Wait, hold yeah, on. Come on, Cameron. Let's wrap it real quick. Let's get this croc out. No, no, no. You oh. need to come up, Cameron. We'll get it, bro. Come on. Damn Let's it. Get you out of here. Let me see. Yeah, she got you guys. Let's go. Well, croc bite. Dude. Yo, get my croc. Yeah. Oh, shit. Let's get you inside the house. It's super official. No, it's not yeah. official. I thought I was off work today. I didn't want to come. Never. I didn't realize I was riding an ambulance today. Yeah, he thought he wasn't gonna be working, but he's wrapping me up. Look at this. I'm all good to go. Come on, get me off. I'm gonna do a somersault. Water. Thank you so much. I appreciate <laughs> it. 
I was uh, <laughs> I was assaulted while swimming. Oof. All right, so let's go over and see how Chris is doing with my new Cuban crocodile. Now, guys, I know what you're thinking. Chandler, this is what we're always worried about with the king cobras and the crocodiles and everything. But you gotta understand, this is all I do with my life. I can't do anything else. I love this stuff. I'd rather be limping with a croc bite right now than sitting at Publix bagging groceries like I did when I was a kid. Bob, you got the croc? Uh, yeah. All right, we're good. Let's do this. Come on. I got a job to finish. I got you, I right. got you a pump. Don't go oh, cool. the job stuff. There we go. Hey, Joe. Long time no see. Long time Joe no see. What? Come on. Let's go. Oh, I thought you were going to the hospital. I ain't going to the hospital. Let's, Let's get, get in there. Get in here. Wild man. All right. Okay. Now we're back to the episode. I got wrapped up. If you guys want to see the exclusive content of that croc bite, go to Patreon, subscribe, support the channel. It's real bloody and gross. You don't want to see it. You need it. to go see it. Get me the it. longest stick oh. so I don't have to go back oh. in this primeval pit. Yeah. Be don't, don't, get get get, don't be less. getting bacteria. Hey, I'm getting back in. Don't no. get, don't get Chris, what are you doing? Let's go. Look, this guy. You gotta keep him safe. Okay? Poke away, Chris. Poke away. Who's that Miss Toothy may think that she got the best of me, but in reality, she made me fall in love with her even more. <laughs> I oh, feel know, really lightheaded. You, you look No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. He, he said it's a. To have a, a calf half full yeah, situation. Yeah. Calf, half full. It's a calf half full. Oh, okay. You know what's funny? He's the one who wants clown legs. Alex wants new legs. He wanted them to get ripped off by this cross. <laughs> hey, who's still gonna catch you? All right, poke away. She's not in though. She bumped it. She's probably going that way in front of you guys again. See her nose? Don't give up, no matter how hard it gets. <laughs> or how much you bleed. Or how much you bleed. As long as it's not a major artery, you'll be fine. Yeah, that was some light red blood. You're good. Oh, right there in front of you, son. Look at, look at the See the nose. Don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Look at that. Got, you it. Go. got it. Yes. Go. Let's go. Let's yes. go. Let's go. Yes. No, no. Top jaw. Pull through. That's it. We're not jumping on this crop. Right. Pull through. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let Chris get out. Chris, okay. I'm trying to slowly get. Unstuck. She's looking at you, bro. So there's Miss Toothy, the yeah. infamous Cuban crocodile. She's killed probably about nine or 10 of her past boyfriends. And Aries, the Nile crocodile, has been the only one to survive her wrath. You ready? Yeah. There we go. All right, pull through with the tough jaw. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got her, so don't, hold on. Don't fall. Three, we got her. Two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Yeah. Somebody put the end of the rope through the box. Three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah. Look how beautiful this Cuban no crocodile no is. Okay. Okay. Pure-blooded no Cuban rush. crocodile. Hopefully we can find our boyfriend and breathe this critically endangered species. Thank you Watch so much, Mr. Up. Bob Freer. Let's get her in the box. If we say stop, stop, because it's her jaw getting caught. 10-4. Right. Pull. 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 Oh, oh, don't get her all the way. Hold on. Lid, lid. Hold on, hold on, Go hold on. Throw me that lid right there. Hold on, hold on. Hell yeah. Got it? Done. Woohoo! Come on, beautiful people. Let's go. Holy crap. Only wow. one superficial bite. We'll stop at the hospital on the way over there. Thank you so much. Or after. Bob Freer, these beautiful yes. crocodiles. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Gillette. Yeah, my father. You give me a hand. <laughs> Don't slap my wound. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> You're gonna be Alex, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Joe Wazowski taking photos of my injuries. He's getting so much Christmas. Absolutely. Justin, thank you so much. Oh, my. Martha, thank you for uh, quitting, trying to stop bringing me to the hospital. Oh, my God. Boy. We're still going, though. Yeah! You! Maggie, you beautiful woman. Let me give you a kiss on the cheek. Mm. All right, we're going to get this crock box in the van. And then I'm going to take one shot of tequila. I know it's not good for bleeding out, but just one shot of tequila. Then to the hospital and to Chandler's Wild World. All right, who's ready to lift the box with no handles? Woo! Let's do this. Let's get the crock organized in here. Let's see how Let's see how this guy's doing. Good thing he didn't bite me. Like, you probably would have eaten a Oh, shoot. All right, you just got to move over here. Yeah, he's a big boy. He has to be to one side of the enclosure, one side of the van, so we can fit this box in. Alright, that side. Yeah, this Keep side. Keep him on that side. Yeah. Let go of the rope. Let yeah, go of the rope. Right 
Box, let's do the box quick before you move. All right, yeah, box. Let's go. Go, run. I'm coming. Run, son, run. I'm coming. All right, come on, boys. All right, one, one, two, two, three. I have half a calf, so, you know, bear with me. Woo! Chandler, this way, this way, this way, this way. This way. Straight, 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 and then turn. Okay, now turn. All right, beautiful people. A little mishap with the crocodile bite. We're bringing these beautiful animals home to Chandler's Wild World. All right, all right. Oh, push it straight in. Uh, pull back. To Go up. Pull back. Up. Lift. Pull lift. Back. Lift. Lift. There you go. Slide. Pull. Push on three. One, two, three. Push. One, two. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. 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 Holy crap. Never give up. Follow your dreams. Stick to what you love because everything will fall into place. Even if it's a crocodile buying you, you're still going to take it home if you work hard for it. Woo! <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, that's a nice ass right there. Look at that. That is a nice ass. <laughs> All right. So, last thing. I didn't even talk about this, guys. We're also getting five hatchling American crocodiles that Bob produced. Oh! <laughs> Who put that chain link there? Yeah. All right, so we caught the hey, a goat. We caught the, it's like Jurassic Park here. We caught the Cuban croc, the Nile croc, and Bob is also giving me these beautiful five hatchling American crocs. Some of them are a bit young. One of them is probably over a year. But look at this, guys. Beautiful mini ziggies. Oh, oh, he's getting here. Look at that, a beautiful mini ziggy. We got five new American crocs. Here, Bob, you take this croc. There you go. Here, Alex, you help me out. I'm kind of, I can't use, really use this leg to get out now. All right, so anyways, five new baby American crocodiles. Bob, I seriously cannot thank you enough. This meant so much to me. I was having a really crappy two weeks. A lot of crazy stuff has been happening. You told me I can have these crocs and it just turned everything around. Thank you so much. You I think they're going to you. And don't forget, guys, my first ever crocodile, first ever one I own with my license, Bob gave to me. He was nice enough to sell me one of his first produced American crocodiles. That always meant a lot to me, and this is just, I'm almost at a loss for it. Thank you so much. So we're going to box these little babies up, and I'll see you guys, I don't know, at my house when we release the crocs, at the hospital when I'm getting cleaned up. We'll see. I'll see you guys after a shot of tequila. Well, Crocs bite. 